I think there are two or three things uh, about getting India right, so to speak. Um, the first is not to think about India as a country. India is a continent. And if you go 200 miles in any direction from Mumbai where we're sitting today, uh, you'll almost feel like you're in a different country, right? We think 69 cities are going to dominate the growth of this country, right? And therefore making a thoughtful plan on not just where to compete also, but how to compete because these countries' cities are very different is the first notion that we would give to many clients. The second is um, a notion that I call um, uh, the empowered local team, right? Uh, or in, effectively the trusted maverick, right? You need a set of uh, people in India who actually can compete effectively with a different business model uh, that is relevant for the country. Many times we see clients who uh, have a very successful business model globally and they take parts of it or pieces of it, redesign it, and try to fit it to emerging markets. And that honestly does not work. Because to win in India, to have influence, to be relevant, you need to address the challenges of India. And therefore, we've seen several companies that think about, while they're pursuing a business opportunity, how can we be relevant to the 1.2 billion people in this nation, right? Whether it's in education, healthcare, or whether it's even something ancillary to what you're doing. Um, we're seeing companies um, who've done that systematically over 10, 15 years, and they have been rewarded because they're really seen as local insiders, and they're seen as someone who's relevant for the country.